what is going on guys welcome back to another video where today is going to be a very exciting one because it is officially time to reveal the 2023 haunted house plan okay so pretty much i've fully finalized my haunted house plan for this year so this year i tried to do more of a theme as like with previous years i never really did much of like a fully themed haunted house but this year it's it's sort of a combination of themes, but the main one I focused on is definitely the this haunted mansion style thing. Um, I know a big reason for that is because for some reason I can't seem to find like too much of this stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is room wrap, or I think it's called room wrap. It's like um, it's pretty much like a thin sheet of plastic that makes a background for like if you're doing a Halloween party, you basically stick it on your wall. And it like, it's almost like really thin wallpaper. It like turns the entire wall into like a whatever theme you want. Um, the company that does this, it's really good by the way, but the company that does this, they like haven't got any in stock, which is weird because usually around this time they do have it in stock. But for some reason this year, it doesn't look like they do. So I've had to kind of assume they might not have it potentially they might do it i really don't know at this time but for halloween they might have it but as of right now i've planned it so that um in case they don't have it i still have a backup theme to use and that will be the haunted mansion okay that is enough time talking about it let's actually go ahead and jump right in and reveal to you the full plan so on the screen right now should be an image of like the finalized uh plan it is a bird's eye perspective, meaning you're looking directly down on it. And for illustration purposes, all of the props are like, they're facing like us. Whereas in reality, they'd be like, you'd only see the top of their heads. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it. So the first thing you'll see is this kind of like graveled area. Um, this here, this entire bit is basically my driveway. So yeah, my driveway is like, you have the gate here, the driveway leading up to the garage. And all of this will pretty much connect into one, like, kind of walkthrough experience. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, let's start then. So, when the trick-or-treaters arrive, they'll be arriving through the gate at the bottom. Either the middle gate or the one at the bottom right. It just depends on, like, um, how many people we actually end up getting. Uh, of course, first thing we do is, the weekend before Halloween, we host a Halloween party. And that's pretty much a trial for all of my guests to kind of like you know give me reviews feedback on how good it actually is so that will probably be what happens then they'll probably come in the bottom right gate right there so yeah the first thing they'll see is hopefully the 10 foot reaper right there kind of lurking over the gate because the gate is shorter than 10 feet so he should be kind of like positioned in a way where if you're coming up to the driveway from the street you should see him kind of like looming over the gate nearly uh that's my kind of plan with that the lunging reaper will be on sensor mode um actually no he'll probably be on like continuous mode but since i don't really want him to break he might be on the sensor mode but we'll just have to see um but no he's in the bottom left yeah bottom left uh, right next to the fence on the far left and then so he'll be kind of like separate down there kind of an introduction to the horn like that's the first thing you see it should be kind of like a it should draw in trickle treaters then the next thing they'll see is sweet section the candy all the candy will be on a pacing table uh, right there behind the pacing table will be three costco props that i i've chosen these three props because i deem them to be family friendly um a big reason for this is that i've always considered in the past um not all of my trickle treaters and guests um will necessarily want to go into the haunted house this has happened before and so, as a way to kind of make everyone happy, make all parties happy, I've decided to kind of like have this section here be the family friendly kids section. Uh, you can see we've got the harvest theme props all set up there this year. Um, pretty much, they will be in front of the tent. This thing right here is a tent. This uh, rectangle here, that is a tent. So, um, the tent will kind of lead into the haunted house and you'll come out directly in front of it, which is right there. But so yeah, they'll be in front of a tent, which will be the carnival tent, but we'll get into that later. Um, in front of the tent will be the hay bales, the harvest props. We will have the around three or four hay bales, I think. And then on the hay bale will be the sitting scarecrow, the uh, the flaming pumpkin from Costco, the other Costco pumpkin I've got, 
the Asda Halloween Scarecrow and the Little Scarecrow from Morris Costumes. And then directly next to them, all on a step pad by the way, will be the three family friendly Costco props. So to the left of the table we will have the Costco Werewolf which is right there. Uh, directly behind the table will be the Crimson Dragon and directly on the right will be the Costco 2019 Cauldron Stirring Witch. And these, as I said, will all be on step pads. So I find that the step pads are really good for um, normally like young children because they like to interact with the props. Um, and also, I wouldn't trick them like Spirit Halloween loves to do. I know in the past they love to have like a try me button or a step pad and then the prop ends up being on motion. So whenever the guests go to like step on the try me activator, like the thing pops up before they have a chance to react to it. It's very funny, but I won't be doing that this year just to make sure the kids are not traumatized by my haunted house display. But yeah, maybe next year, we don't know. Okay, so that's basically the first section complete. Um, if you don't want to take the haunted house um, walkthrough, this will be what you see. Nice and conveniently placed. Um, so the gates there, as I said, you'll basically come in here, get your sweets and go if you don't want to do the haunted attraction, uh, haunted house, I mean. And yeah, they can just leave when they want to. But for those who dare to enter the haunted house this year, this is what you will see. So the tent is positioned in a way where you go round um, on the right to enter. And then the first thing you'll see is the carnival room wrap providing it's in stock. Um, going around the tent. The two props in there will be Cagey the Clown. I have the Cage Clown edition. I just thought that one looked a lot better. And the... My ticket booth, which I need to repair this year because it's fallen into a state of disrepair. I know for a fact that it's a really good like DIY prop, I just need to repair it. So I definitely hope that room wrap is in stock because I'll make like a repair video um, saving this prop hopefully. But yeah, so that will be the tent. Um, that's everything in the tent. And so as you guys can see, when they go through the tent, they go through this way. They walk through and then they'll start the entrance into the garage haunt. So the first hallway that they'll actually see will be the haunted mansion theme. So this, I've actually reworked the um, the layout for the garage haunt this year. Previously, last year, the um, the kind of the layout was different. I'll show a photo on the screen right now. Um, it was a lot different. So pretty much it was like a two hallways and then one middle room. This way, I've reorganized the layout in a way that makes it more immersive. This way, I can add more of like a depth to the haunt, so um, it feels more like a longer experience overall. And so, yeah, with that being said, this is pretty much what you'll see. So as soon as you enter, you'll see this hallway right here. This will be um, decked out in the Haunted Mansion room wrap. You'll walk along there, there'll be like spider webs, creepy cloth hanging from the ceiling. Hopefully, like, kind of brushing past your face, which kind of makes you feel like it's a spiderweb. Um, that can freak people out a lot. That's really good. And then you'll pretty much turn the corner to this corridor. I don't know if you guys can see that. This corridor right here. And you'll walk along. Same thing, creepy cloth. And then at the end of the hallway will be... I really hope I can get this prop. I really love this prop. The um, Possessed Wall Hanger from Techie Design, I think. Is it Techie Design or Techie Toys? I know they changed their name, but like, what was it now? I think it's now Techie Design, but the Techie Design um, Possessed Wall Hanger will be directly at the end of the hall. And I'm planning to have her on an external speaker with a strobe light flashing in her face. That should be a really scary image, because um, that prop is pretty much one of the most terrifying props I've ever seen. Yeah! Yeah! I know for a fact it traumatised me when I was younger. Well, not traumatised, but like, when I used to like binge watch all these Halloween company videos when I was like really young. This thing would stand out because, like, the techie stuff from like 2013, 2014 was really scary. Like, the Broken Spine Girl, the uh, Lunging Lily, and Piggy Penny, those ones were really good. Um, this is like kind of, I kind of grouped them into the same set, but this thing always scared me, so I'd love to get this year. But yeah, um, that's pretty much where she'd be, like, hanging on the wall, like, kind of in a way, like, where she's kind of like possessed by some sort of demon, and she's hanging on the wall with, like, I don't really know how you um, hang her up, I've never had her before, but I assume it's some sort of like screw or something. But she'd be on the wall kind of hanging around doing another thing. And so yeah, she'll have a creepy cloth by the way all over her. Then when you turn this corner, you will then enter the second hallway which will be known as the cave theme. This entire part of the haunt will be very dark. 
I'm planning to pull this off by hanging over the top of the walls a some sort of black fabric which should block out any light and make it really dark and immersive. So the cave theme will have the same kind of aspects as the haunted mansion in the terms that um, in the way that they have the creepy cloth, uh, cobwebs hanging up everywhere, brush and partial face as I said. Um, yeah, so nothing will be in this section here as you walk around. It's just sort of to get you into the kind of uh, the atmosphere. Then you'll walk around this corner, uh, right here. I keep going the wrong way. There. And you will see a makeshift, like, prison cell I'm trying to do. Like, it's sort of like a prison cell. Um, and who is in this prison cell, you may ask? It is, of course, the Twitching Banshee, or the Screaming Banshee. Uh, the Costco model is specifically called. Um, she will be behind this homemade present cell and she will have a fog machine directly behind her. Yeah, she'll have a smoke machine in there with her um, strobe light flashing down from the beam on her face, making her light up and look amazing. And then when you go past the, uh, the jail cell, that'll be the exit. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire haunted walkthrough this year. This year, it should be, it should be good. So, I won't have to spend that much money on this like extra wood it should be pretty easy actually because all of this plan right here is just a reworked version of my current existing haunt layout so it really should be no problem um of course i'll make haunted house build videos um those are my favorite things to do because they're like um i find them really interesting to watch as well like other people's haunted house builds because i always take inspiration from it and like kind of apply it to my themes for the next year Oh no, yeah, they will be coming soon, guys. Probably September. Uh, yeah, probably September. I may have the uh, the wood up and running end of August, just so I know it definitely will work. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much the entire display. Um, that will be the ending, by the way. They'll come out there and they'll exit through the gates. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, make sure to stay tuned. Subscribe for more updates. Um, um, make sure to stay tuned, uh, please leave a like too, it really helps me out, I massively appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time, where we should be actually going shopping, hopefully, we should be going shopping to like some stores, um, I'll be returning to that shopping Yeovil, that's now, I think, strictly known as the Mad Hatter, that place is really good for like, all those props, um, I'll be going to the range, b and all the big like box stores that have Halloween ranges, to check it all out, um, I might go to Wilco too. I know Sainsbury's usually has some good like home stuff I can put in my room, so I might go there as well. <laughs> also, real quick, I'm going to shout out my Instagram at uh, Ominous Haunts. I am fairly active on there. I do post a lot of stuff. Um, I'd really love if we get to like 700 followers before Halloween. But yeah, thank you guys again. Um, I'll link my Instagram in the comments below and the description. Uh, I post a lot of stuff on there. That's what you'll see behind the scenes stuff when I'm not posting videos over on YouTube. Um, all my haunt builds and plans will be um, on there. They'll all be on there. But yes, that is pretty much it for this video. It's gone on way too long than I expected it to be. But yes, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day and stay spooky.